body, body, body. It's your boy, Big Vern. Cutting some more podcasts, man, on the Mother's Day weekend. Shout out to everybody who's rocking with us on the Sunday edition. <laughs> we got a wild show. A couple of good things out there. Ohio State's athletic director on the way out. He's retiring. He's retiring in July. And he has some things to say about Michigan that, <laughs> hey, look. Don't let me get in the way of a good time. <laughs> then we talk about Mike Budenhauser, how he is the worst coach on the board, but somehow he finessed his way into Phoenix to get a job out of the Suns. Shout out to him. Pat Bev, he got the four-piece nugget thrown at him for throwing basketballs at a fan and snubbing a reporter. And I want to go ahead and do a follow-up. Is is that too far? Now, that story is going to come to you out of the Atlantic. Then, Rashi Rice, a one-man crime spree. This dude don't get it. He just don't get it. We'll talk some more about him and his new charges and why this just ain't working out for him. So, got an action-packed show. Also, we'll get into Nikolai Jokic, and he just won the MVP. Did he really deserve it? That's a really hot, contentious battle being taken, you know, is being had now online and everywhere you turn. And so we'll get into that and many more hot topics when we come back from a quick 20 from a unofficial sponsor of the show this is big Vern at app stupid roll a clip I'm loving it. McDonald's. Download the app, order online, or visit your good folks down at your local McDonald's on a Mother's Day. You know, it sounds pretty cool. We can get Big Mac. I tried a new Bacon Ranch Cajun McCrispy. Still on there for a limited time. You can get that sandwich and many more delightable items at McDonald's. Also, don't forget to use your rewards. Yes, use your rewards in the app where you can receive all kind of deals and bonuses as well. McDonald's, you got 1,500 points. You can get free McChicken, vanilla cone, or the cheeseburger. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Okay, all right. So want to jump into the the rewind we spin in the block we spin in the block for patrick beverly and i just had to my mindset in this was just a little bit too much so okay is it weird to me and me only that the police is investigating the ball throwing incident yeah they've now got the cops involved this is weird as buck to me so he hit a woman in the head with a ball the guy who was aiming the guy who he was aiming at threw the ball back to him as he reloaded to get him originally the usher and the team stepped in and bev and the fan continued to jaw back and forth at each other afterward is that worth police presence also, why isn't the lady suing the a-hole who was next to her who got her hit with a ball? Because if he wouldn't have opened his mouth and got disrespectful, nothing would have happened. None of those people press charges. It's important that we put out there the report was filed by an officer who observed the incident. Now detectives are looking into it, reviewing footage and bringing charges afterwards, if any. So it was an off-duty cop 
who's looking into the investigation. Like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Someone threw a ball. This is a ball game. <laughs> this is a ball game. And this is, it's, this is starting to get on. Are you going to protect the players? Because clearly, if Pat Beverly is saying that the Milwaukee Bucks, they complain to the ushers and the people in the building and security that this guy who's sitting behind the bench, who is unruly, he's a little drunk, he's going a little far, and you all did nothing to protect him. Did the off-duty officer get that information? Because people are people. And especially when you're fighting for your playoff life in an elimination game, and you're doing everything you're trying to do to get this game or this series extended to Milwaukee, trying to force a game seven at least. Now you got this situation. You got this situation that has come up and has bitten you in the butt, but the players complained. The players complained. And is it not fair to take that into account? And apparently what set this into motion from witnesses was the drunk idiot fan yelled at the base, but yell, he yelled at the Bucks in a huddle, Cancun on three. Is that enough to get somebody upset? No. No. Cancun on three? Come on now. I honestly don't know what any of that meant other than they was going to take a vacation. And is any fan's right to cheer for his team? But it had to be more than Cancun on three. Because if you're telling me that I came here to lay down and go on vacation, then is that really different? Not really. But like I said, it had to be more than that. And we'll get into much more of this ridiculous story when we come back from a quick 12 seconds from a new spot, which we call hip hop albums to be aware of. Roll a spot. Yes, new Ghostface Killer album out. Set the tone, Guns and Roses. Yo, I'm not gonna front. I, I've been listening to it nonstop since Friday. Banging Ghostface Killer, The Six Minutes with Jim Jones. Oh my God. The Pair of Hammers with Method Man. Oh, the joint with him and Nas and then Yup with Remy Ma. This was like, if you a real hip hop fan, Ghost, this is like Ghostface in the um, the one where he was uh, before fish scales and everything. This was this was vintage Ghost, and I like the pockets he get in when he start rapping. I'm really blown away by this project. Hopefully, you will be too. Download the app on Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify, wherever you legally purchase music. Go to get it right now. It's out. Set the tone. Ghostface Killer. Guns and Roses. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so back to Patrick Beverly and this whole weird get down. And uh, let's put it out there. I will not down a guy for sticking up for himself. That being said, if the Bucks complained about it all night and let people know this is a problem and the NBA and their negligence the NBA and their negligence in protecting the players and also in this internet famous culture climate people will do anything for fame and if you do not outlaw floor seats or fans with over access you're asking for trouble this is the truth this is the ungodly truth no one wants to acknowledge because it is not just that guy who got hit with a ball. If he turned his camera around on himself and in that moment he's bragging about being hit with a ball by Patrick Beverly, not only is he going to be on everybody's uh, internet pod, but people are going to be lobbing money at this guy for giving them that story, giving them that scoop. That should not be celebrated. That should not be a thing. You 
are in trouble when you invite this atmosphere into professional sports. I've seen other podcasts break down on the situation and they spoke about the whole Melinda Adams situation and ESPN producer where he wouldn't take her questions because she didn't subscribe to her podcast. Well, to his podcast, I'm sorry. Personally, I don't care about the snub. That plot, you know, because emotions are running high at that moment. And you can't go from extremely upset to joking and playful. What psycho does that? She even admitted he called her and apologized afterwards. So again, what's the problem? The chicken shit doc, Doc Rivers, lame excuse he was saying, that made me throw up in a bucket. How about this is this isn't the Milwaukee way? What? The Milwaukee way? Bro, you just got this job three months ago. What are you talking about? We're better than that. Really? Really? Better than being human and reacting to disrespect in real time? The only thing missing from Doc Rivers' bullshit was when they go low, we go high. Sit your scared ass down. Sit your scared ass down. Talking about this isn't the Milwaukee way. What you selling beer or something, bro? Come on now. <laughs> when he said that, in my mind, I'm sitting here thinking about house party. I smell, I smell. <laughs> what you talking about, man? <laughs> the next paragraph had me fit to be tied. And if you want to throw in the, the buck dancing and butter biscuits, then feel free to do so. He said to Beverly, and I quote, I get it. But we're coaches and athletes. We're the entertainers. So whatever we are, who talks like that? Who talks like that? I now know how Doc Rivers operates. I mean, it's the only thing missing from that. Boss, you better not go out there. Now, those folks, they good folks. They pay folks. They pay money to see us now, boss. Shut your weird ass up, bro. And I had a long talk with Bev, and he gets it. But this whole, we're the entertainment or so. Bro, I'm not here to entertain. Why can't I just play basketball without all of the pageantry, without all of the sock puppet garbage? Why can't we do any of that? No, we got to get out here, tap dance, and smile. And, come on, man. So really let down by Doc Rivers in those statements. He could have chose a better, he could have chose a better sentence or a, a bunch of words to string together and give people a word salad. But to go like from straight up that to Bo Jangle, come on, bro. You heard the fan the same way everybody else heard the fan. There's no way you could sit here and be like. Well, I didn't know what was going on. I just turned around and then, Bev, when they go low, we go high. <laughs> Sit your weird ass down. So, me, am I going to double down that Beverly, nothing should have happened? Yes. I'm also going to say that the, is. I mean, I'm not blaming the fan, the idiot, the alcoholic idiot, because he didn't press charges. He didn't go ahead and get this thing on a police level. An off-duty cop who saw it got this going into the police realm. So those people who got the ball thrown at them, they knew what they did. That's why they didn't press charges. But now you got scared Adam Silva. He's sitting here. Oh, well, you can't get away with that. You're going to get a fine. And then we got to hit you with that four-piece nugget. At the beginning of next season, you can't play for four games. Man. Man, sit your scared ass down. Look, we got a lot more show to go. This is Big Burn on a Sunday. I'm rocking with you.